Fashion's really funny. I, I, I always say that I've kind of been on this path to redefine feminine etiquette. You know, style is a way we show the world who we are, and if there's nothing on those shelves that um, we relate to, then, you know, we're kind of, we're a little bit lost. I found tons of people who kind of fit in the same boat as I did. We were hunting down the least girly items in the men's section, trying to find something that, you know, looked, had the look, but maybe not quite the fit. We were spending, you know, $200 on a shirt and then taking it and getting it tailored for another $100, which just doesn't make sense. I've been in fashion for the past eight and a half years. I had pretty much a perfect job and I still wasn't fully fulfilled and I was trying to think of why wasn't I fulfilled? It kind of came to me as this like being your authentic self and the self-reflection of who I was and why I loved menswear. To us, it is much more than a button down. It's about creating something that's authentic that makes people feel the same way on the outside as they do on the inside. So potally means skin of a wolf. And the idea is it's a wolf in sheep's clothing. So menswear tailored for women. So I met Adele for the first time probably a couple months after the London 2012 um, Olympics where uh, myself and the rest of the women's national soccer team we won a bronze medal. I was um, a brand ambassador, athlete ambassador, and it was just kind of my job to try and get it out there and uh, get the word out, um, which is pretty easy when you really believe in uh, you know, what you're trying to get out there. I've always been kind of a tomboy, and then once I was about five or six, I started realizing um, what was defined as feminine in our society and I think that's when things changed for me because I didn't fit the mold that I was supposed to be. I mean I think what was more frustrating for me is not necessarily what was out there but what was kind of acceptable to wear. We just don't want young girls or boys to have to go through what we experienced growing up so uh, to create a home for people like that the for kind of forgotten demographic uh, is really really important to us. I think Adele was very gracious in bringing me into the company and making me partner and, and now, you know, she's like, we're going to give you a line that you can design. <laughs> it's unfamiliar territory for me, but if we succeed, we do it together, and if we fail, we do it together. Job, Boom. Boom. I invested in Potaloo as a dragon on Dragon's Den because I really saw the passion that Adele had in her business, and I really felt that there was a niche market that she was tapping into. I think Adele is extremely talented, she's a genius, but she has no ego. So she's exactly the type of person you want to learn from. Just believing in ourselves and just keeping going and um, I think if people you know, are able to do that and find who they are, what they can accomplish is going to be amazing.